Hello everyone, Oli the Repair Dude is here again. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Arduino Uno for Checkmate E5 for iPad 1, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPhone 4S, and iPod Touch 5. As you can see, I have an A5 device which is an iPad Mini 1 for this video. Pardon the screen and Arduino Uno clone and the USB whole shield. Please note, not all clones Arduino will work. If your clone Arduino doesn't work, please use an uh, original Arduino instead. The first step is to download Git and Arduino IDE. Click Windows and my site install to download the software. Click just download. Click just download. And also download Git. Click download for Windows. Click 64 Git for Windows setup. Since I already downloaded it previously, I'll be installing it to show you. Go to Arduino IDE. 2.3.2 IDE, install this first, then after that we install Git. This will take some time, so be very patient. Now it is installing Arduino IDE. For meanwhile, we can just install Git. Click next, 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 all default options. Next, 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 next. install. Let it install Git. The Arduino ID is done installing. I'm installing Git right now as you can see. This is required for the later steps. After that, open Arduino IDE and click accept all prompts. You can close this as you as you wish and close the Arduino ID for now. Once you're done, click this away and click finish. Then after that, open system variables. Go to environment variables, go to path. Click on edit path. Make sure this C program files git got CMD is available. If not, you can add this by clicking new. Paste this thingy. I'll be giving in the description, so not to worry too much. Since I already had it, I just delete it away and click OK and click OK and click OK. If you don't have it, don't delete it. Just add it and click OK for everything. After which, you can download Checkmate A5. Go to Code, Download Zip. I already downloaded the zip on my desktop, so I'll be opening the zip on my desktop. Extract to my desktop. Then rename the master to Checkmate. Just check me A5. Once once already done, I can close the zip file and open Arduino IDE. Then I go to File Preferences. Copy the paste the sketchbook location to the Windows Explorer folder here. Go to libraries. I will need this later, so I'll delete away my previous USB whole shoe to demonstrate how to set up the USB whole shoe library. If you have any USB whole shoe libraries already installed, please delete it as we're going to patch it later. To patch, go to command prompt first. Go to cd slash libraries make sure it's the correct slash don't make the mistake like me then git clone the usb whole shoe thingy let it, let it clone this will take some time so be very patient just be very patient cd usb Oh, shield 2.0. Then after that, git check out this command. After that, git apply. Now go to your USB, your checkmate A5. Then you drag and drop the patch here. Make sure there's space between apply and C. Press enter. 
congratulation, you patched the whole shield thingy. Then you can open checkmate A5 the INO file. Then after that, then you open make sure you select your board. I selected mine which is Arduino Uno and click upload to upload the sketch. Let it compile, please. This will take some moment. Take note, make sure you change your CPID to your device CPID. For iPad Mini 1, iPad 2, 4, iPad iPod Touch 5 is 8942. For me, it's the iPad Mini 1. So this part, I will keep. If not, if it's an iPad Mini, it's an iPad 2, 1 to 2, 3 and iPhone 4S, change it to 8940. If it's an iPad 3, just change it to 8945. This will show you how to change. Then you just upload the upload it to your board again. Go to the serial monitor by going to tools. Serial monitor. I show you again. You should say checkmate started. Once you say checkmate started, connect your iPad or whatever devices to the whole shield. Let me show you this the cable for my iPad. Connect this to the whole shield carefully. Then you get non Apple DFU file because it's not in DFU mode. Now put the device on DFU mode. Press and hold home and power button. Then for five seconds, one, two, three, four, five. Then you hold the home button until you see some line of text coming out. This doesn't require the LED thingy. I like Apple Tech 752. Shout out to him. Once you get this fitting out, just let it do its job. If you see done, that means your A5 device is in pawn DFU mode. Congratulations. You have completed the tutorial on how to set up your Arduino to set the pawn DFU any A5 devices. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial video. Please like, share and comment the video and please do subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again in another tutorial video soon and peace out and a great hearts for everybody who watched my video.